and we're live welcome to the gears fight night it is team lucent against the regal reserve here we're about to jump into dam i can see the teams that are loading in right now we've got regal on the swarm on the swarm side and we've got lucent on the cog uh these two teams both spanish teams over in europe uh they came third and fourth at the recent egl sheffield open event that was a fantastic event uh, attended by a lot of people a lot of teams a lot of top tier teams these guys I came third and fourth, sorry. And that was Lucent, the Regal, fourth. Since then, we've had a little bit of a, a mix up with the teams. Uh, so we've seen Exuth. Uh, he has jumped over to the side of Regal. Uh, they, he was dropped actually by Lucent straight after the event, which is quite strange because he was one of their best players at EPL Chef. Uh, we, yeah, we, we saw him jump down Regal Reserve and in his replacement, we've seen Totti, who was on Regal at that EGL event now a member of Lucent, so he's there, Lucent Totti. Uh, we, we're about to get underway anyway, we are in the game, we're on dam. And uh, yeah, we're jumping on board with Lucent Legend. We can see Lucent are pushing up on this home hill. Points are dead even right now. It's going to be a difficult game uh, for sure between these two teams. A very close, fiery game. But we see Regal Swift here picking up a triple already. Shadows as well coming in with that headshot. That's four dead and it is up to the new member Totti to make his statement in this team. He does not do it. Regal shutting them down extremely quickly. It's going to be 1 0. Regal Reserve. That was a great first round, actually, uh, from from perspective of Regal. They were slaying out very well. Swift already up on four kills here. We can see it right in front of us. Fantastic showing from him. And I'm really interested now to see where Lucent places weapon. They've been really interested in placing the M bar down at that pit. Uh, that was kind of their signature strategy. Uh, get it over to. You know, Fortin, get it over to Cougar. Get these really strong players on those M bars early. Doesn't seem like we're going to see that this time, though. We're going to see the Boltox placed. So, uh, just, uh, you know, a, a secondary weapon there. Uh, we see the Boltox um, occasionally when teams want a little bit more power, firepower from, you know, from their, their back line. Uh, but don't really want to overdo it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Boltox, sorry. Quite an easy, nice little pick up. Uh, uh, yeah, let's jump on board with Mayman Swift. He's actually going to get taken down quickly by Lancer. Nice revive there by Dyson to, you know, capture, <coughs> to re revive his teammate. Sorry, and we're going to see Lucian actually slaying up here. We see three dead now from Regal. Uh, it's a very good start this time from Lucian. Much better than the last round. And they're just going to back off. They're going to hold this two cap set up. You see Legend on screen now. He's just going to back off. He's just going to... Hold this wide angle. He's sat by the pit. We see the overhead. Great overhead map here. All members holding that pit and pier. Uh, pit, sorry, the pumping station and pier. Cougars is going to come in though. He's looking for a double. Does get the double. Shadows is going to reply very quickly and it's up to him now to save this E hill. He sat on the high ground. Gets the kill. That's crucial. That really is. Going to see uh, two members off spawn as well. From, from Lucent. He's going to try and fight for his home hill back. The roll comes in. Exuth taken out by Legend. Doesn't see dragons there though, and fantastic kill by him. That's really well done. He's still lurking around now. It's really uh, being a thorn in Lucent's side. And the movement is there. He's looking for the kill. Does get taken out just before he can get the shot. And Totti, the new member, takes him out. Obviously, he'll need a big showing today to really prove his worth. Make sure that he proves to Lucent that his swap was, you know, worthwhile. It was worthwhile bringing him on board, and you know they've gained from that switch. We're not seeing it just yet, I've got to be honest. We're not seeing the Totti that, you know, has been pulled out as being a much better slayer than Exus. Uh It's it's going to be an interesting game, see how that Exus totti rivalry kind of breaks down in the end. However, Lucent looking strong here, another three dead from Regal. Regal falling quite quickly and it's up to Exus and Dragon actually to, you know, keep this last hill alive. Uh, we do actually see... Two hills, actually. This is this is confusing me. It seems like Lucent have actually collapsed on the sea hill, where Dragons is you know putting up a real strong fight on his own. But Exus actually overextended, so he was on the other side of the ring, the uh, other side of the map. Even though it was five versus two, that short amount of time, Lucent ended up with one hill. Regal had two caps for that entire time. Great overextension there from Regal to make the best out of that situation. And now we're seeing, even though. They were on the back foot. The points are still relatively even. You see the pumping station hold there from Lucent there. 
really concentrating around this neutral hill. Difficult for them. Uh, you know, they they have to make sure they're watching these over these over extensions through the pit. And you can see Regal. They're going to push on two fronts now. Potty does take out Exus, and that's cru that's crucial right now. We are on board with him. See what he can do. He is looking for his second kill. Trade comes down from uh, Fructures and uh, uh, Fortin, sorry, and Legend gets taken out. Totti trying to uh, trying to clutch up there, but Regal out of nowhere just come take the trip cap, and that's two nil now. Regal reserve, great stuff from Regal. This is what we expected to see at EGL Sheffield. We didn't see it, not not to this extent. They were getting outslain. We can see Cougars still doing well on Lucent there, but they were getting uh, heavily outslain uh, were Regal over at EGL and. Uh, Online, it looks to be a different beast. To be fair, Re uh, Regal were always the better team online. Even coming into uh, into EGL Sheffield, Regal they had a couple of second place finishes in the 2Ks, and they were al always touted as the, the best Spanish team. So, nice to see that uh, despite their loss over at EGL, uh, they're coming back strong here. Looks looks like a good rivalry. That That's still pretty even. However, Regal back on track. Look to be uh, looks to be taking that online presence once again. Let's see how this uh, kind of yeah. Let's see how this kind of uh, carries on because the rounds have been close. It could have been taken by Lucent. It could have. It's not to say you know it was all Regal that round. Or was the first round. Uh, it, it's it's interesting. Uh, we anyway we, we we do see the incendiaries placed. Incendiaries have been placed up at the pumping station. That's going to give a little bit more firepower to uh, to Lucent should they hold that area. However, Regal, they've gone in, they've slayed out. We're seeing Shadows pick up a double kill on the feed. He, where is he? He's, he's actually looking for his third now. We're going to jump actually back off, looking at Totti. He's fighting for this, pump, uh, this platform area. Does get the big chunk though on Swift. Swift, legs taken out, but it's not going to mean much because Totti is in no man's land. If he can get to this B hill, this is going to be great for him. He does manage to get there. He's going to stop this domination just for now. Fantastic, fantastic play. And it's up to now Fractures. Fractures and Cougars, they're on their home hill. They're going to try and slay out here. Dragons does fall. We're seeing the crossfire now come into B. Totti's taken out by Shadows on the B hill. So this is going to be the next contest. Pumping station, this is where the fight is going to go down. Shadows with a big steam train there. Managed to catch Cougars off guard. Wrong weapon out. So easy kill for Shadows. He's going to look for his second. Gets put it up. Hey, does actually take out his second. That was fantastic movement by Shadows. Really, really well played. A little bit hammerheady, but honestly, you know, he did well to capture those two kills. Got his team the, the third hill. Got himself the domination. Fantastic play there by Shadows. 3 0 now, Regal looking super, super strong. 1 minute 26, the round time as well. Really, really quick round. I, I, I don't really have much to fault here. I, I see Regal. Pushing really strongly, they're slaying out. They're getting the shotgun kills, they're having the right weapon out at the right time. You know, it's just a really good play. But there it goes. Did you see that? The M bar, the M bar drop down there at the pit. This is a lucent staple drop. This is going to be on the hands of Fractures, on the hands of Porters, or in Cougar's hands. One of the three. And by all means, this could turn the round. Right? This is lucent's. You know. Preferred pick, it's like the Fable bo uh, bo boom shot, right? It's, it's difficult. And we can see the fight going down. Fractures, Cougars both take out two. Cougars is taken out, so it's going to be up to Dysics now. He does get a second. He's going to look for his third with the help of his friends. Legend is going to come in with some crossfire, and this is going to be a big, big fight now. He's going to actually wait for his team. Well played here by Regal. They're not giving any chances over to Legends. And Exuth now, he, the rogue member, has managed to pick up the M bar. He's going to be. Flying across the map, he's going to be looking for some kills up at this B station. Does see his first target, his first victim. Doesn't manage to land the shot just yet though. Got a nice little shot aimed up here. Just get a little check, he's looking for the Gib. There'll be a lot of damage down actually from this M-Bar. He needs to be careful with his shots though, he doesn't want to be firing these. Um, if he's not going to hit. Like there, he could have, he could have held the charge. That's one thing you've got to... I mean, five dead now from Regal, but that's one thing you've really got to be careful with with the M-Bar. He's not wasting the shots because you don't have to keep reloading it like the sniper. You know, you have every every three shots. There's always that opportunity just to let the shot, you know, lie in the chamber. Don't overshoot it. And then you get a lot more out of that weapon. We see a lot of the kind of, you know, semi-professional teams trying for those shots as often as possible. And sometimes you don't get the best use. Uh, we saw that there. Exus did have a lot of 
Uh, shots going down and Tati cleaning up there, really well played. Lucent round coming in. But yeah, uh, we, we saw Exuth use that Envar a little bit suspect there. Not bad round though. Very um, very well recovered to say they did lose the uh, Envar. Lucent came out a bit better that round. They, you know, I think they had the fight in the area that they wanted. Uh, and now we get to see what Regal are going to place down in return. This is going to be a real key drop. They're looking to hover this platform area. I'm looking at some incendiaries. No, I'm not because the incendiaries have been placed. I'm looking at something bigger than I'm looking at a drop shot, maybe a boom shot. Try and draw this fight away from the M bar and really, um, you know, really try and, well, Regal obviously want to fight this out again, but I, I would have preferred the drop shot there or the boom shot to try and draw the fight away. That's Lucent's, you know, preferred fight. You've got to try and draw this, this away from them and doesn't look like Regal are too worried though. It's only one round. I have to remember, it's only one round. So, gonna go in head to head again and fight this out. We can see the overhead maps. Slight difference in strategy. Lucent are gonna send someone around baby stairs, whereas Regal are just gonna essentially headbutt this M bar fight with five men down at the pit. Regal shadows were on board with. He's gonna look for his first kill, but he sees Lucent running away. Dizix managed to get the M bar. Exuth does manage to actually get a kill as well. So we see two dead from Lucent and the collapse is going to come in, I think. We're going to try and take B first, but Regal have got another two headshots, actually. Dizix gets a uh, nice shot, but the kill is taken out. Shadows gets the shotgun kill just before the M-Bar takes it. Big fight now on this A-Hill. Domination is ticking. and We are seeing Legend try and fight his way in. The touch is there, but it's fractures against everybody. And that's going to be the end of that round. All one now, Regal Reserve looking super strong. Gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be on Lucent now to really step up the game. We can see Legend, he's not having the best game. Two kills and not even a thousand points yet, so I'm looking at him to have a little bit more uh, impact in these next, you know, closing, well, I say closing rounds, it could be closing rounds if Regal win. These next closing rounds. Uh, we see the Hammerverse hovered. Not too sure about that. I, I think that's just a uh, you know, we're happy with the fight where it is. We need to execute better. We need to react to what's going on um, a little bit better. So let's put the hammer burst down. We can maybe collect them later if needs be. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't really impact the fight too much right now. And we can see, strategy-wise, Luton actually haven't mixed it up. It's exactly the same. We're going to see the 4v5 down at the pit. Regal are going to get in their first. Lucent are playing on the back foot. And Dizix again, picks up their scratches. Has managed to pick up that rogue member of... Uh, Regal, who's running around the back of the platform. That's good. That's a strong, strong opening. Embar charging up though, looking for the shots. Almost gets the uh, almost gets the connect on that last shot there, but not quite. And uh, so at this point, you want to backpack that weapon. Well played there, Isaac. He's in a tough spot. His teammates are here to back him up, and Regal gonna take out Cougars. They need to get Isaac up, but the double kill comes in from Fortune's legend. Picks up his own, and that's four dead actually now from Regal. <laughs> Fantastic play from them. It's going to be all on Shadows' is back. The Sea Hill hasn't been capped, but someone is off spawn from Lucent. They're going to capture it. It's six seconds on the clock. Four, three. Lucent Fortens picks up the kill, and one is going to drop. The Denial comes in right on the buzzer. This is going to be a big fight. Six more seconds. It's going to tick down. The touch is not there, though, and that's another Lucent round. 4-2. Better showing from Lucent, really did like that indeed. Uh, they reacted to the fight a little bit differently. They they brought Regal into the pit just there. You know, it drew, drew them into the fight. And then when the flanking member came around, they just collapsed on him straight away and that was it. One man advantage, then they could continue from there and kind of push the fight along. That was, that was nicely nicely done. They, they changed things up ever so slightly from the round before, uh, but it made the difference. We are going to see a, a switch of rounds, so for those of you new to Escalation, at the halfway mark we see the rings flip. On this map it's a little bit different, so Dam only has one ring that switches, most maps all three rings switch. But we're still going to see, big fight going down, nicely taken by Swift, we are still going to see the home hills at either truck. But the neutral hill is now at this, you know, as you can see on screen, it's now at this E hill, uh, the middle of the platform, rather than the pumping station. So it's, uh, yeah, it switches things up ever so slightly. So, yeah, it's unique in that sense. Combination just ticked down now, and this is a big fight for Cougars. He does actually get the first taken out, though. Actually trades in for the second, so that's a really crucial double kill there. Takes the 1v2, 
does die himself, but it's okay. Not a problem. Legend's going to be coming in behind, and he's going to find a fight on the platform. He's got two members of Regal in front of him, and, he's, you know, he's shimmying on the wall. Shadow shuts him down. Shadows is going to look for a second as well, as he's feeling fire in his belly. He gets the double, gets the triple. This guy on a fire, looking for the quad. Is he going to get it? He's <laughs> got a little bit Rambo mode there. Uh, didn't really need to push in. Fortin's managed to get a double, except... Sadly, one of the kills is on his own teammate. Doesn't manage to get the down either. Swift's going to get the revive. Fortin's is actually going to get picked up as well. Legend takes out the kill on Swift. Headshot coming in. and Wow, this is back and forth. This is difficult to cast on your own, I tell you this. Uh, we are going to see, though, Lucent and co. take back over this E-Hill. They really need this E-Hill for quite a while now. You see the points lead. 27 to 112. Big kill there by Fractures. Lucent Cougars, Lucent Legend. They're going to get a double kill as well. Uh, this, you know, this could, this could flip this round. There's a big points lead here for, for Regal, but we're still seeing some great play from Lucent to try and recap this. And they're going to break it. The last member here on the hill. Fratch is again getting another team kill. This is not what you need at this point, but it's all on Shadows. He's going to try and get another touch. He's kept this busy and Jesus Christ. Shadows going off. This member was fantastic for Regal, actually, over, over in Sheffield. And... It looks like his, uh, yeah, his presence on LAN is the same as online because, boy oh boy, he just saved his team there. And he's looking for another kill. Gets another. Looking for his third. Does actually get taken out. Great Lancer coming out of the Lucent spawn. Fractures there. Trying to make amends for earlier. and He does get taken out, actually. So, back and forth at this pit. It's difficult. Two members down. And we see the uh, the kill. Dizik's actually taking out. Dragon's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Trying to make the best of it though as he Scarf as he's gonna retreat, regroup with his team. They're gonna hold back on this two cap. I see a 50 point lead now, Regal. This is it's pretty impressive. Uh, they're really holding strong on these double hills. Uh, they've got a huge advantage. They can win off one hill. All they have to do now is just make sure they don't get caught off guard on a domination. And, and jobs are good for this round. 30 seconds left for their mark. See Totti trying to rotate round. He has got the flank on the fellow at the pier, so should be a kill coming in for we'll loosen, but looks uh, like he got away actually and I see a lot of fights come down. Three dead from either team and fight is gonna be over at this EF hill. It's a Cougars, Cougars taken out and Regal shall secure this round. 207 hits the clock and yep, they uh, they played that. Pretty much to the wire there, really, really nicely done. 3 minutes 32, so a very, very long round. Difficult round to actually keep hold of. Uh, looking at the scores, we see Shadows up on 19 kills already. 19 kills, that's fantastic work from him. Really is showing up on this showcase match. Yeah, difficult, um, difficult platform really to exceed on when you're at these, you know, real high level showcase matches, but... He, you know, he's put in the work. We're seeing Lucent Totti. He, you know, obviously at the top of his team is with the man placing the incendiaries. Maybe, uh, maybe enough. Maybe not enough. Not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see what comes of that. But yeah, Shadows, he's just paving the way. Most caps, most kills, most points in the game. Fantastic player, fantastic slayer. Really putting in the work for his team. We're going to, again, and I see the overhead here. What we're seeing is pretty much an even strat on both sides. So we're going to see 4-4 at the platform. See Totti taking out his man. Dragons is going to come in for behind though. And he's going to look for the incense. Does get the incense pick and gets a couple of nice shots on Legend. Legend falls with the help of a friend. The incense is going to be used to cut off one entrance. And the cap's going to come in. Three dead actually. So it's a, it's a 3v3. A 3v2 sorry. In Regal's favour. Fortens he's going to look. Oh. Sliding away. Uh, yeah, he's going to look for a kill, but Fortin's just, he does pick up the headshot. The domination is going to come in. It is denied. Totti getting the touch just in time. And big 1v1 now. Exus takes it. Totti. Kind of looking at, you know, the, the giblets. They do secure that E hill, though. So, one hill apiece at the moment. The F hill will go in Lucent's favor, though, when they come off spawn. Not too bad. You see the member on that overhead map there. But Swift managed to get one kill. Shadows takes out two. And is uh, going to be a trade as Legend picks up that kill E going you know <coughs> go, not going anywhere sorry going in contestion that's what I'm trying to say it's you know it's being contested here and again Lucent with a nice setup they're just crumbling though when it 
you know, they need it the most. And there we go, we see Swift taking out another. Dizix also taking out Fortins and it's, it's difficult times for Lucent. They, they really do need to step things up a little bit here. We are going to see Legend get in. He gets the touch. He's on the back of the van. Gets another kill. He has to touch again. He does get that. Really well played now from Legend. Just keeping his team in it. And that's it. He's done enough. Regal now on the back foot. They're going to run off. See Legend will pistol his way through Regal Reserve. And that was fantastic. I have to say Legend doing excellent work. We see fire raining from the sky though as the incendiaries are thrown in going to be a difficult offense as Shadows takes out Fortins. This is not a 2v1 you want to lose. Shadows just get taken out and it's going to be a big, another big 1v1. Trade comes in again. Swift on that kill. He's going to try for the, sl the, the sneaky flank. What they called him? A slank. Uh, <laughs> around the back of platform. Uh, he's going to regroup though. Again though, the point lead. Look at the point lead. It's incredible for, for Regal Reserve. It really is. Almost 100 points up now. Uh, they can't really play this much better. Lucid really needs to step their game up. Gonna, uh, gonna take stock of what Shadows is doing for a little while. You know, he's just playing playing this bricks. It's quite enough to uh, you know just to sit back on this home hill, make sure everything's okay. Uh, do you see though? Triple kill, uh, triple kill come in from Regal. Great movement by Shadows. He drops two, gets taken out by Totti. And this is going to actually be a wipe for Lucent right on the buzzer. Only 11 seconds left. Lucent come in and take that round. And that's the danger. You see, that's the danger of trying for these one caps. Yeah, you can, you can look at the scoreboard and you can say, Oh yeah, of course, we've got the score lead. We're 100 points ahead. We've got all the weapons. We've got all the map present. And instead of just sitting on the two hills and still playing it, you know, as you would uh, if it was, you know, even Stevens. A lot of teams tend to sit back, you know, they, they tend to reserve uh, their ammunition, they tend to hold those power weapons and they kind of just wait until the other team can gather five members and come at them in, in even strength. It might not be even ammu animation, an ammunition, but it is even strength numbers wise and, and as we saw just then Lucent completely outplaying Regal at the buzzer. However, Regal opening strong again in this round, three members of Lucent are dead and it's going to be a big fight at the stop sign for Swift. If he can get this, this may be another triple cap for his team. Fortin's playing this really well, just waiting for his team to come off spawn. Does get the kill, forces Regal Swift to actually make the move there. And he's ready for it, but the domination is ticking. This is going to be a crucial down. They do get the down. We're going to see a 3v1 on the home hill. Fractures taking that out straight away, but points again still ticking in, uh, in Regal's favor. It's going to be difficult. We see the, we see the speed boost coming in. Gonna be a big 1v fractures looking for it. He's managed to get himself in a good situation. The support is there from Totti and Fractures gonna pick out that kill. One more dead now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're really gonna uh, look for Lucent to be taken back over this platform area. Zeus trying to get out with his life here. He's a little bit red. Gets over to Shadows, so Shadows is gonna help him out. And they're gonna push baby stairs, but a brilliant Boltock pistol comes in from Fortens. Taking out Exuths. You know, his previous teammate, and we have two dead as well from, well, two dead, two down from, from Regal over in the back corner there. This, you know, this should be a triple cap for me, for Lucent. They have a 5v1 essentially, and the two kills are picked up, but maybe a little bit too late. Big Boltox shots coming in though. Fractures picks up two, and Fortis with the Boltox putting down a hell of a lot of damage. He gets another shot. It's going to be another triple cap in favor of Lucent. Cougar's going into the spawn. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's not scared at all. He's... He's off down there. He knew his team had got that round. And 4-5 now. Lucent bringing it back. This is a uh, much better showing from, from Lucent. Much better showing uh, overall from all of their slayers. And the numbers are catching up. You see Fortins and Fractures. They're both trying to catch up to, um, to Shadows on Regal. Both at 20 kills. Now it's... Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite difficult. And, and now it's on Regal to see what they place at the pit. The boom shot does go down though. This is it. This is going to be a fantastic fight. Because this... Regal squad love to get down and dirty, especially in these close quarters combat areas, just like the pit station. It's you know it's low cover. There's a couple of flanking routes for people to sneak around the back. It's just going to be great. It's just going to be a fantastic fight. And we see again Regal putting five members down at the pit. Lucent putting four. And there's the first shot. Swift with the headshot. A swift shot over the top of the pipe. The incendiaries are going to come in though from Fortins. You can see him in the background on X-ray vision. The boom shot is picked. One incend gone. The boom shot does take out one member of each team, and 
It's still pretty even, actually. We see Lucent actually getting taken out, and it's up to Legends now. Look to Legends to, to get this home hill back. He doesn't have to worry about the boom shot, but he does have to worry about four members of Regal Reserve coming hotly towards this home hill. This is going to be difficult. They are going to act... You know, they are going to act in, in, in safety here, and they are going to just roll back, take the two cap, get the point lead once again. Nice ball talk here to push... Uh, Push Regal back as well, like Zoot's having to run for his life. He has got the support from Baby Stairs though, so not in too much of an issue. The fight is going to go down though. Sorry, the fight is going to go down here at the pumping station and Totti and Fractures are going to clean up. Three dead from Regal. This is good. This is really good for Lucent. And they're already on the offense, you see here. They're going to look for this D-cap. We see the E-cap coming in. And we see uh, we see Cougars behind the spawn actually. Going to get one kill and... Big kill there from Exus. He's got to try and keep his team in it. Just get the touch. Just get the second kill. Dragons gets the third. And Lucent falling again right at the crucial moment. Slightly brash from Exus there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he actually saw the uh, the members of Lucent sat up there. I'm not really sure. There's a roll. There's a slide. There's a kill from Swift. And take he takes out Totti. A lot of, um, a lot of back and forth play here, actually. We... You see the boom shot actually. It's gonna be coming back up quite soon. And Dizix is on the flank as well, so. Should be um Should be an interesting fight. The incendes are there, which yep, yeah, they were picked up after the boom shot, so the boom shot will be up. Incense are taken out though, actually. That's um that's really well played by Fretch. Just, just get the kill. Doesn't even get taken out as well. He's gonna run through the flames. He's gonna get one kill, ducking and diving and weaving and Wow, this guy's still alive and Look at him, he's, he's fighting for this boom shot with all his might. Zeus does shut him down eventually, and Totti's gonna come in now. With the support of the Lancify, the boom shot's taken out, one shot gone. Actually wasted. Shadows gets taken out, and it's, uh, it's a big kill now. Zeus does pick it up. Boom shot still, uh, boom shot still in the hands of Regal though, and they can use this to get some serious, serious map pressure. Uh, if used right. Uh, Dragons, the man actually use it correctly and fluffs the shot uh, he actually fluffed both shots so a really misused boom shot there could potentially cost him the round but two members loose are dead regal trying to trying to clutch out here and loosen falls one more member alive and swift does take out dizix but dizix traded out with fractures just beforehand Totti picking up one. Can he pick up two? No, he can't. Shadows shuts him down. Shadows looking for his second. It is Shadows versus Lucent for the domination, really. It's nice to back off, actually. Kind of a, a wise move. If that goes badly, um, you put yourself on the back foot. Uh, Shadows wants to play his life a little bit better here. Two hills. Two hills in the favor of Regal. Big double kill now for Regal. The trade is there for Cougars. Incense in the hand of Dragons. He's going to throw this on the E hill. He's going to try and push Lucent off. Without this E hill, Lucent cannot win. 206, 207. That is going to be another round going over to Regal Reserve. They are now two rounds ahead. They're on match point. It's 6 4 now in Regal Reserve's favor. Fantastic game so far. And the boom shot placement working out. Maybe the kills weren't there from the boom shot itself. However, it's forcing a play down to this area. I'm looking at Lucent now to put something equally as big at the other side. Maybe the M bar. Really try and uh, yeah, really try and just draw this map out because they are losing this pit fight every single time. The snipes hovered. Snipes hovered so far. They're looking at the retros, and I'm not sure that's quite enough. We see the M bar there. But it's gonna be the cross. They want to fight this again. They're gonna put their uh, their match point on the line for another fight around this you know this pit station. Uh, I really am looking for uh, for Lucent to just mix things up here a little bit. They've been playing the same. Uh, they've been playing the same strategy now for pretty much every round, and here we go. They have mixed it up. They've identified that that four v five is not working. This is the big first kill. Swift's on the pipe. He's going to get dropped, but Shadows takes the kill first. Fortens has got the incense. This could be a double. Isn't the double yet? But Cougars has managed to get himself out. It does drop. And uh, Dragons is going to clutch. There's a boom shot on the floor for him as a reward. And five members now of Lucent dead. This looks to be Regal's round. Are they going to be quick enough off the spawn? I'm not too sure they are. The boom shot is on his way. You can see him there flying through. Regal Dragons, one shot in the boom shot left. And great play, actually, by Lucent to, to notice that 
The boom shot is the first one in spawn, so you can just lance them down. First one in the ring, sorry. So you can lance them both down. That's a boom shot on the floor. We're going to get a boom shot in the hands of Lucent as well, if they can just see it. Yes, they can. Fortens picks it up. Really well played by Lucent to stop themselves going down here. Got to be careful. Use the boom shot. That's it. Trade your teammate out. You've only got one shot, though, Fortens. Not with that weapon you haven't. Brilliant headshot. Go. Fly. You need to get over to this airfield. You really do. You need to be taking every round you can. And two members off spawn now. Not quick enough. It, it, they're going to play the two cap. They're going to sit back a little bit, actually. I can understand it from, from Lucent's point of view. You don't want to maybe risk your match point on what is essentially a, a, a risky 50-50 fight, right? You've got no boom shot. You've got no power weapons to really throw that fight. So maybe sitting back is a good choice there. I, I can understand that. However, you've got to be strong on this defense because if you lose this defense, you're losing incendiaries, you're going to lose a boom shot, you're going to lose E-Hill, and that's probably going to lose you the match. This um, this is crucial. Fortens gets one. He's going to trade one for one with Totti, though. So one member from each team dead. Swift does fall. And uh, it's, up to, uh, yeah, it's up to Regal really to respond here. They've not managed to trade anything out, and two, three members now down for Regal. This is a, a good Boltock pistol just to, just to push Lucent out. They're gonna they're gonna go back for these power weapons. You see the incendiaries are picked up there. I, I like that play. I do like that play. That's nice. Um, they they're just gonna yeah gonna use the incendiaries to grab the boom shot. I think I can I can see that. The points are now also ticking in Lucent's favour. So there's the first incendiary kill. There's the boom shot. The second incendiary kill. Key key placements on those incendiaries. You see where they were placed? They were placed at the back of the two straights. The back of the right straight. Back of the middle straight. What that means is Regal can't take. I am, I'm trying to point to the thing, you can't see the screen. I'm trying to point to uh, the back of the straights because then Regal can't take cover there. It means they have to entirely forget about that E-Hill push because they can't just run straight in a line. They'll just get lanced or boom shot down. Really well played that by Lucent. I, I love to see that uh, smart heads up play there with the incense. Boom shot is also in their favour. So we are seeing uh, uh, you know, a strong defence here from Lucent. Are they going to uh, Are they gonna see... Oh, that's a poor boom shot. Got to be better off with that. Okay, you get the first kill. It's going to be a 5v4 now, essentially, on your home hill. Good, good pistol there, actually, from Lucent. I like that. And uh, it's... Dragon's clutching up, though. Big 2v1 here. Party getting two. This is why they traded this man in, because he has just clutched up. This is going to be another Lucent round, and that is because of Totti entirely... Fantastic play on the home hill. Great double hill control as well by Lucent there. Great placement of the weapons. They've got to do this another two times though before we can really, you know, call it quits. I hope this goes to around 13. I really, really do. Scores on the boards though. Scores on the doors. Everyone almost hitting 30. You see a couple of 30s as well. Fantastic. I love it. Love it. High, you know, a high, a high tempo, high kill, you know. Back and forth game between two top, top European sides. Really well played so far. And yeah, now Regal. They, you know, they've really got to step it up. Dysix, man. You're the only one alongside Le Legend who are, who's under 20 kills. You really need to step this up and go for it. Changes? Not much. Uh, the armor burst down, the Boltox down, and the incense and boom are just going to stay. Nice smoke out from Reason, uh, Regal, though. And 1v is going to come down. Incendiaries as backup. Ooh, that's a great double kill there with the incendiaries. Fortens, the man, coming in with the clutch Kobe throws over the top of the platform. Love to see that. And I think he actually got the man who was picking up the incend uh, the boom shot as well. So, boom shot maybe still on the floor. All to play for. Totti picking up another. Exuth is going to take out Fortens though. And Dragons is going to take out Totti. Three dead now from Lucent. Boom shot in Regal's favour. This is Regal power play right now. If I ever saw one, the E Hill is going to be in their control. The boom shot as well. And my, oh my. Regal looking to take this fight night showdown in style as they come out flying. Uh, they uh, really are putting some pressure on Lucent now. It's It's, it's difficult. It's difficult for Lucid because they know the boom shot is somewhere. I'm not sure if they know where. We can see it on dragons, but I'm not sure if they know uh, exactly where dragons is. Looks like they've identified it now because they're not pushing up too far. It's going to be impressive if Lucent can bring this back. Uh, I tell you, it's going to be really well done. Looks like the play is to push up through plat, but... Boom shot kills coming out. We see one down. We see two down now and... 
Lucent are falling like flies. Three down. Fractures, it's up to you, my friend. You need to get somewhere, but the domination is coming in. Great play by Legends. You need to run, though. Get to the D-Hill. Can't just... Oh, that's... That might be it, you know. That might be it, folks. That might actually be it. Fortens is going to look fight this but he's in a tough 2v1 can't get the touch one second in and that's it it's gonna be a 7-5 game regal reserve gonna come in and win this one spanish showdown goes in the favor of regal but that's not to say it wasn't close uh 7-5 really well played game i'm impressed and uh yeah i'm really uh, really pleased with how that went thanks for watching